What is going on YouTube? Stipe here today and today I'm going to be comparing the Rubicon to the Willys. I have two of them in both Sarge Green. Very similar as far as the looks look on the outside. A lot of people, if you aren't obviously a Jeep person and you haven't studied a whole lot on these, you actually wouldn't be able to tell the difference if you were just someone driving by it or you saw it on the road drive past you. So that's why I'm going to do this video to show the differences between the two and quite honestly why the Willys is really kind of worth it um, for the money you're saving. <laughs> Here they are side by side and i mean looking at them not a huge difference besides obviously the rims and all that in my opinion actually the rim and tire package on the uh willies i like better as far as aesthetics look and all that the white walls you can get on a rubicon as well i actually prefer the ko2 over that firestone um the bf is definitely a much better tire now as far as hood goes, you have, it says Willys here, and over here you have, it says Rubicon. Now the badging is outlined in red, as is the dash in here, as you can see. Now, if we go over here, badging is just black, and the dash is almost like a gunmetal color. Now, cloth seats, right, as opposed to a very nice leather seat in this one. The front ones are wrapped here, so I'm just gonna show you actually the back. Um, but that's essentially how the front ones look with the red stitching. So the Rubicon basically accents everything in red, assuming it's not a four by E, um, but that is essentially what it's doing. It is always access, accenting everything in red on the rim there. It's in red here, once again, more of like a gunmetal-y color. Now, the interesting thing here is this is a matte finish, the actual grill. On this, it's a gloss black finish. They both look good. If you look here, I mean, you can decide for yourself which one you like better between the two. I don't know if I have an opinion here as far as which one I like. Accenting in red there, and these are just black. So if those are deal breakers for you, then obviously you're gonna probably wanna go with the Rubicon. The fenders are both in black. The top on that is in black. This is color matched uh, because it is the sky top, which you can option on this Rubicon in particular. So that is a power top as opposed to this one is your traditional Jeep top where you have to manually remove it, um, which you need some bodies to obviously remove. Uh, as far as the side windows go, they pop out. You can still do that. You can't actually pop out the rear portion of this on this top. The red hook down there, obviously on the wheelies, it would not be red. Wheelies compared to the Rubicon. I personally actually like the wheelies. I think the wheelies is the best bang for your buck. And the reason why I think the wheelies is the best bang for your buck is simply because what you're getting options wise for the price is actually pretty good comparably to other ones now i know that the wranglers have gotten a little bit tighter in price so we're just going to show you the difference in price between the two right now the willies is about ten thousand dollars cheaper it's sixty thousand dollars you might ask yourself well ten thousand dollars you know when if you're looking at it on a car payment it might not be that huge of a difference it's still a bit of a difference trust me um as far as a payment goes by weekly but you may be satisfied with with that difference as far as what you're getting more in the Rubicon. Obviously, not having to remove the roof. And then on top of that, you know, there are maybe some things that are more aesthetically pleasing for you. If again, you're into the red accents and the red dash and you want the leather, that's really what you're benefiting from here. As far as the options in it actually go, it's an automatic, it's still got the four wheel drive system and you have the same screen set up. Now, this has front and rear locking differentials. So, you can see there, you can actually do the axle lock and you can also do the sway bar disconnect, something that the Willys does not have. A little bit of an unfortunate feature if you are off-roading these vehicles. Now, if you are not off-roading these vehicles, then I don't think that that would actually matter much. So in reality, you're not missing out on a whole lot from that to that. So if you are obviously a cash buyer, then it may be something more that is intriguing to you to go with the Willys as opposed to going with the Rubicon. Again, very similar look. The ride height was another thing I forgot to mention. You can even just tell by looking at it. The Rubicon is a little bit higher just because it does have the off-road suspension. The capabilities of the Willys, don't fool yourself, is very capable, probably almost just as capable as one of these. If you are somebody who's trying to 
get the best bang for your buck the willies is definitely the way to go in my opinion so i'm gonna say that the willies wins in this scenario obviously um the rubicon used to be quite more significantly more than the willies now i think they're a little bit closer in price from what i remember as in previous years they were a little bit more separated but you are getting a lot more options now in the willies as opposed to before you were not so you might not feel a huge difference with the fuel mileage between the two but um or the drivability between the two because like i said the tire is a little more aggressive on the willies however the ride height of the rubicon is a little bit higher which also won't help for aerodynamics and stuff like that um in my experience people have said that the rubicon is heavier on gas and typically my customers who are who have had real world experience with both um with the willies and the rubicon so i would probably say that the willies is maybe a little bit better on fuel mileage just simply because it's using the same suspension that the sahara and the sports have so essentially the willies is just a fancier sport so if you're deciding now on which of these two to go with i would personally say the willies i would definitely go with it it would be my pick out of all the jeeps on our lot i've said this before in other videos the rubicon is cool However, like I said, for the price point and what you're getting out of that, it's pretty wicked. You're looking at, you know, options wise, you're getting a lot of features that, you know, you can get in a pretty decent pickup truck. And that Wrangler, I mean, from a cool perspective, it is pretty neat and pretty awesome. And you can still use it for towing and functionality and all of that. These both do have the turbo um, engine in it. So it's a 2.0 liter. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Please comment down below which one you would go with. I hope you like this video to kind of see a comparison between the two a little bit up close and, and hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, like the video. Thanks.